Good morning, Cornerstone Cougars. This is Mrs. Pacheco here. So today, this week, I wanted to draw something um, with you and also show our school spirit. So what better way to show our school spirit than by drawing our mascot? We're gonna be drawing a cougar, but it's going to be a baby cartoon version of a cougar. Make sure you grab your paper and make sure it is portrait. And we're gonna start on the left-hand side. Now do an arched line up and over. We're gonna be forming the cougar's head. So that's the top of our cougar's head. We're now gonna make sure we leave a little bit of space under that curve. And we're gonna wrap it down and under, almost like we're drawing a full circle. We're gonna bring it up and then we're gonna stop to leave that space. On the right hand side now we're going to go right above that space and we're going to go up at an angle take your time and curve over to the right and then we're going to drop down on the bottom half and we're going to complete his ear by touching the side and swooping it up and around and connecting those lines now we're going to mirror that on the opposite side by starting with our angled line going over and to the left, then drop again underneath, touch it and go up and connect your line to the top part of the ear. We're now going to be adding some detail by just drawing a little curved line inside each of the ears. Doing this, will show us the insides and the outside of our cougar's ear. Now we're gonna go in the middle of the circle a little to the left. We're gonna do a little curved line and then bring it down with that V shape for our cougar's nose. And then we're going to go ahead and add two happy face shapes to the left and the right. So start at the middle, go to the right, and then make that same happy face on the left add two little V shapes for our cougar's teeth. Now we're going to be adding our whiskers. So go ahead and just do two straight lines to the left and to the right of your nose. We're gonna next do two slanted lines, one on the right and one on the left. Under that slanted line, we're gonna come up, we're gonna touch it, and we're gonna swoop down and around like we're drawing a circle. Inside that circle, we will be drawing two smaller circles. We always wanna show that our eyes are nice and shiny. We're gonna go to the left corner there and swoop down and under with a big U shape and connect it to the end of the slanted line. And then let's go ahead and shade in the circle, but not the two little circles. Next, let's go to the left side and do the same thing. Swoop down and under like we're drawing a circle. Make sure you draw those two smaller circles again. Shade that in. And then we're going to touch the top end of the line and swoop it down and under that circle. To add some detail, we're going to go on the inner eye, come down and around and bring it down and around. This is just going to shape our cougar's nose, our baby cougar's nose. We're going to go right under his head on the left side, come down, swoop over down and over. Again, remember, if you get behind, you can always pause the video and catch up and then restart the video. This is for his paw, one of his front paws. And then we're gonna come and just do some zigzag lines for his belly. The next line we're gonna draw is we're gonna come straight down under his right whiskers, go over, down and across. Same thing, angle down and across, and angle 
down and across to do his other front paw. Now this line we're going to go right under his right ear and we're going to make it a curved line down to the paw. And that's just showing his front paws now. Now we're going to go to his back and we're going to go up a little bit higher on his head, swoop around and come back to his front paw. Draw two lines. That's just showing where his leg is bent. Now we're going to do an S line off of the back of him that is going to show us our cougar tail. And then come back to our cougar body and draw a letter V in our cougar tail. Great job, guys. Make sure you add that horizon line. This one, I went ahead and grabbed colored pencils, but you can use markers or crayons, colored pencils, whatever you'd like to add that color. If you want to add detail in the top, if you want to add things around your cougar, go for it. Make sure you post this so that we can see. And we're so excited to get to do another drawing with you. Again, Mrs. Pacheco misses you and loves you. And I hope you have a great day.